this video we will talk about how to set up our system for dotnet development system means machine machine means laptop or desktop that you are having we will install all the tools softwares and sdks that are required to work with dotnet or the c sharp here is the quick agenda of this video first we will download and install the latest version of dotnet core because in this course we will be working on the latest version of csarp and the latest version of csarp is provided by the dotnet core that is why we will install the dotnet core in our system then once we will download it we will verify the installation whether the installation is successful or not then we will install couple of softwares like visual studio visual studio code and we will also install git to download all these things first of all you need to open a browser in your system and make sure you are connected to the internet now here we have to search for dotnet once you will search for it you will get a website dotnet.microsoft.com let's open it this is the official website of dotnet dotnet.microsoft.com don't get confused that there is a separate website for dotnet core no as i told in the previous video that the latest version of dotnet core is called as dotnet so you have to search only for dotnet and whatever you will download from this particular place dotnet core will be there before downloading the dotnet core sdk first of all let's have a look on this website so here it is saying that this dotnet is free it is cross platform and it is open source free means you do not have to pay any kind of charge for the development of any kind of software then there are couple of more things here is a button to download the sdk and it is supported on windows linux and mac so this is free fast modern and productive okay build your apps with the power of dotnet in the dotnet world you can create your backend apis by using dotnet you can also work on front end web applications and you can also create multi platform applications If you are completely beginner to the software development world then these words might not make sense to you. Backend means the APIs that will interact with the database, front end means the application that will work on the client side or in the web browser and the multi platform is a kind of application that will work on mobile, web, desktop and on so many other platforms. Now here are some conferences details and basically these are couple of things that we can develop by using the .net other than these applications there are also so many other types that we can develop by using the dotnet so just a quick thing web mobile desktop microservices cloud machine learning game development internet of thing by using the dotnet you can develop anything here are couple of learning videos you can use these links as well and the more you will search on this particular website the more information you will get okay now let's focus on our installation part so here i am on top of this particular page and there is this button download let's click on this one so here we are having free cross platform open source download dot net for windows i'm using the windows operating system and that is why i'm having this download for windows so this is the latest version dot net 7.0 it is recommended and it is standard term support here is the dot net 6.0 it is long term support it means this dot net 6 will be supported for a longer time as compared to the .NET 7 if you are watching this video in future or in next year then you will see that there are more latest version of .NET and again the support will depend on the version itself because i want to work on the latest version of c sharp so i have to download this .NET 7.0 and to download it i can use this .NET SDK 64 bit you can simply click on this button and an SDK will get downloaded in your system If you want to work on .NET 6 then you can download the SDK from this particular place. Let's click on this one. So this will download an SDK in my system. So it is downloading over here. The size is 200 MB. What is the meaning of SDK? SDK is software development kit. Just relate it with the manufacturing company. It is a kind of manufacturing unit that we are installing in our system. It will have everything that is required to work with .NET applications. Let's open it or let's just install it. So I'm clicking on this particular file. Here you will see the version of this .NET SDK is 7.0.102. Click on this install button. This SDK has been installed on our system. Here you will see the message is the installation was successful. 
and by using this SDK, following things were installed. It has installed .NET SDK, .NET Runtime. This SDK is used for the development. This runtime is used to run the applications. ASP.NET Core Runtime, ASP.NET Core is used for web applications. This .NET Windows Desktop Runtime, this one is used to develop the platform specific applications. And there are a couple of links as well over here to learn more about the .NET. We can search on the documentations of .NET by using this link. The SDK documentations, here are some release notes about the .NET versions and these are some tutorials. Let's just close it. And now I need to verify whether the installation was successful or not. To verify the installation, I need to open a command line tool. Either you can use the terminal or you can use the command prompt. Let's open the terminal over here. So here I will be searching for terminal. This is the terminal application that I'm having. You can also use the PowerShell. Here we have to search for .NET. Just hit the enter button. If you are getting any kind of message that .NET is not a recognized term, it means there is some problem in the installation. But if you are getting some messages like this, we are having this help, info, list SDKs, list runtimes, it means .NET has been installed. Okay, now let's try to run all these commands one by one. So first I will start with this info. Let's type this .NET space info. Hit the enter button. This will give the information of all the versions that are installed in the system. I have installed some previous versions as well. For example, this 6 version, that is why I'm having 6 and 7. In case you are installing .NET for the first time and you are installing only the 7th version, then you will see only the 7.0 or the specific version that you have installed. Again, in case you have installed all the versions of .NET Core, for example, 2, 3.1, 5, 6, 7, then you will get a list of all of them over here. Now what is the next command? The next command was list SDKs. So let's try to run the, this command as well, .NET list SDKs. So here are all the SDKs. It is 6.0101, then 7th version, then again the 7th version because I have installed it two times and there are some minor changes in these versions. So I'm having it three times over here. In your case, these number of lines can be different. It can be less and it can be more. So if you are getting these kind of things, the .NET info is working fine. It means you have installed the .NET core successfully. Now you can just write your code and you can run the applications. But to write the code, we need a proper editor. Although we can write our code in the notepad, but notepad is not sufficient for the real time development. For the real time development, we need some proper editors. The first editor in this category is Visual Studio. Let's search for Visual Studio. And here is the first link, it is saying visualstudio.microsoft.com. Here you will see there are a couple of Visual Studios. This is the first one. This one is for the Mac and this one is Visual Studio Code. So this code is different. This Visual Studio is different. First, let's talk about this Visual Studio. So here I'm using the Windows operating system. So I will be working with this particular version, Visual Studio. If you are having the Mac, then you can download the Visual Studio from this particular place. Okay. Again, you will see that there is one drop down over here in this button and there are three more options. First is the community 2022. Then we have professional and then we have the enterprise. This community professional and enterprise is the type of this particular Visual Studio. And this 2022 is the version. This is the latest one. This community version will always be free. If you are just learning the development, then I would recommend to download this community version. These two versions, professional and enterprise, will need a license. Although they will provide you some time for the trial, but ultimately you will need a license. So for beginners, I would recommend to go with the community version. But if you are having a license or you are working in a company and that particular company has provided you the license of Visual Studio, then just install this one, the professional version or the enterprise version. Here I will just click on this professional version. It will download one exe file. Let's open it or let's just click on this particular open file. At this place you will see that there are so many options that we need to choose in order to install the Visual Studio. So let's start from the first one. Here you can choose the first one which is ASP.NET and Web Development. 
then there is azure development we don't need that python development we don't need that node.js we don't need that this visual studio is one of the best editor and you can use it for any kind of programming language you can create java applications over here you can create python applications over here node.js applications over here and so many other programming languages that are available you can develop all of them over here by using this visual studio so here are basically some components that we are installing for each type of application okay so here is this dotnet multi-platform app ui development you can use it for the mavi so let's use this one as well the dotnet desktop development ignore this one for now because we can work with this mavi at the bottom side you will see we have one more option which is this other tool set data storage and processing install this one as well this will be very much useful while you will interact with the sql server database and once you will select all of them just click on the install button there is one more very important thing if you have not installed the dotnet core in your system and you are installing this visual studio for the first time then it will automatically download the latest version of the dotnet core in your system i have already installed this visual studio in my system so i will click on the cancel button as of now but if you need to install it then just click on this install button although the size is little bit extra it is heavy but this is the best editor for the dotnet development Let's close it and let's open the editor that I have already installed. So I'm just going to close this one and I will search for Visual Studio 2022. This is the editor that I have already installed. So over here, let's just click on this continue without code and you will see there are so many options. Let's just click on this help button and click on this about Microsoft Visual Studio. So here you will see the version of this Visual Studio editor. It is 2022, 64 bit and the latest version is 17.4.2 for the 2022. Okay. If you are install, if you are using the community version, then you do not have to worry about the license because that community version is free forever. Okay. So this is the editor that I will be using in almost all the videos, but there is one more editor that you can use. So let's close this one as well and we will use it whenever it will be required. The next editor is Visual Studio Code. So let's search for Visual Studio Code. So here is the first website which is code.visualstudio.com. Click on this one. This editor is developed by the Microsoft and it is also available for all type of operating systems for Mac, Windows, Linux. You can download the version from this particular place. Click on this button download for windows and you will see that one exe will get download and by clicking on this particular exe you can install it in your system. I have already installed this vs code as well so I will just ignore it as of now and I will just directly open it. Here is this vs code this is how it will look like. You will see that this is a kind of similar with the visual studio but it is completely different this visual studio code is extremely lightweight as compared to visual studio but it is very much useful you can use any one of them but in my experience we use this vs code generally for the front-end applications although there is no problem in using it for the back-end applications like c sharp or the asp.net core all of them but in general we use it for the front-end applications for example angular react that particular thing in general not always true we always use visual studio for the dotnet development so we have installed the dotnet core we have installed the visual studio and we have also installed this visual studio code in our system now there is one more very important tool that we need to install in our system and that is git so what is a git for the freshers i would say that git is something that you must learn along with the development because this is something that is used by all the companies, all the organizations. We are searching for Git and we got this website gitscm.com. Click on this particular website and we have this Git distributor is the new centralized. And here again, you can download it for the windows. And by using this next, next option, you can just install it. I have already installed it in my system. So I will just ignore this one as well. What is the use of this particular git this git is used to manage your code and we will check in our code from a local repository to a server repository we will use the github repository for that github is another website in itself and if you are a developer then you must learn about this github as well now at the last there is one more information that i would like to share with all of you 
फॉर एग्जाम्पल यू आर वर्किंग इन अ कंपनी एंड दैट कंपनी हैज़ प्रोवाइडेड यू अ लाइसेंस सो देर आर टू वेज टू यूज़ दैट पर्टिकुलर लाइसेंस फर्स्ट इज यू कैन डायरेक्टली लॉग इन इन योर विजुअल स्टूडियो एंड सेकेंड इज यू कैन ऑल्सो यूज वन मोर वेबसाइट विच इज माई डॉट विजुअल स्टूडियो डॉट कॉम यू कैन यूज दिस पर्टिकुलर वेबसाइट एंड हेयर यू हैव टू लॉग इन बाई यूजिंग योर स्पेसिफिक ई मेल आई डी सो लेट्स लॉग इन बाई यूजिंग एन आई डी At this place, you will see all the details of your subscription. If you do not know anything about this particular website, then I would say create a Microsoft account and just sign up over here. And if you will log in on this particular website for the first time, then you will see an option to join this Visual Studio Dev Essential program. Just join that particular program. It is completely free of cost, but there are so many benefits. The first benefit is that you will get an extension of three months in the trial version of the Visual Studio, so you can use it for more longer time. The second benefit is, the second benefit is you can create a free Azure account and you will get two hundred dollar in your account to use all these services. So this is again completely free of cost. You do not have to pay anything. Just by joining this Dev Essential program, you will get all these things. There are so many other benefits as well. If you will scroll down a little bit, then you will see all the benefits. Here is the Visual Studio Code. You can download it from this particular place. The community version. You can download it from this particular place. You will get the six-month subscription of this Sync Fusion Xamarin controls. So there are so many other things that are available at this particular place, and you can just use this particular subscription completely free of cost. Okay. So at the bottom side, you will see there is one more free for one month plural site subscription. you can activate it and you will get the access of this particular website completely free of cost for one month you can also use this particular option and you can activate the linkedin learning or the premium linkedin account for one month so basically there are so many things that you will get from this particular place if you will click on this download button then you will see there will be a list of all the softwares that are associated with your email id so here are all the visual studios you can download it from this particular place as well and here are the office details then windows 11 10 and all the windows server and the sql server all of them will be placed at this particular place if you need the product key and if you have already paid for that then that will be available over here under this product keys the system setup is done now from next video we will start the real development